everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to tell you how I completely forgot about this art supply that I have and that I love. So anyways, um, these are my Sennelier watercolour paints. Now if you have been around my art channel for a while, you probably remember me using these quite a lot. But lately I, I kind of neglected them a little bit and um, I actually realised that I haven't made a watercolour painting in quite some time so today I'm actually going to try and get back into it. Now obviously um, I probably will be quite a bit rusty with these uh, watercolour paints because I haven't used them in a fair bit so um, I actually decided to go in and try and paint something a little bit more simple. Now obviously when you're trying a new medium or going back to a medium that you haven't used in quite a long time, um, it is good to try and draw something or paint something that is a bit more simple as a bit of a sort of warm up or a bit of a you know test type thing. So with that in mind I decided to try and do a little bit of a study of some plants. Now I went on Google and I just looked up a few different references for plants and uh, succulents and that kind of thing and uh, yeah basically I'm just trying to draw them. Now obviously I have not done like just a plain like blank copy. I did sort of have a look at a few different photos of plants and sort of uh, uh, got inspiration from them and sort of combined them in my head to make something new and yeah that's what I'm doing today. Now for this first painting I'm doing today, I decided to do a sort of a cactus plant in a sort of little glass pot thing and also another plant in a bit of a sort of stripy pot if that makes sense. I don't know. But yeah, um, I basically just started off with some flat fields of light colour. Now with watercolour paints it's best to work from light to dark because this medium is a transparent medium so you really want to be careful and try and preserve those highlights if you can. So that's why I'm working from light to dark today and you will probably notice that I have done that in the past with my Copics as well but yeah. For the sort of glass uh, pot with the cactus in it, I actually decided to uh, go in with a very, very light uh, wash of Payne's Grey. Now this was just to set the base for where the glass uh, would show through. Now obviously after that I went in with some browns and some greens to sort of get the average shape of the plants. And then once that layer was dry, I actually went over the top and added details. Now as you can see I am starting to get put darker and darker sort of patterns on these plants and just try and get a little bit more detail and shading down. Obviously I'm not trying to go for a detailed, uh, you know, realistically rendered artwork because I don't know I just felt like drawing something cute and simple today. For this next painting I was uh, painting plants again, however I wanted to try and experiment with a few different colours. So I went for a plant in a bit of a teacup and then as well as that I actually put a bit of a plant in a uh, watering can. Now as you can see right next to the teacup the watering can kind of looks like a teapot I guess. I kind of didn't realise that until afterwards. But it's definitely a watering can and not a teapot because, you know, why would I draw a teapot? Like, that would make sense, silly me. <laughs> so for these two, I actually went for a sort of reddish pink colour and then a purple colour. I made sure to add a bit of a shadow on the surface of these uh, paintings and that was just to sort of ground them into the... Uh, background or non-background because there's not really a background <laughs> but yeah that was just to make it look like these weren't just floating in space if that makes sense. After I got uh, 
the main shapes down and a little bit of shading on the cups and stuff, I went in and I drew the plants. Now I'm not 100% happy with uh, the plant that's in the uh, watering can, but I am quite happy with the cactus that is in the teacup. Now for this cactus I actually wanted to add a little bit more colour and also add a little bit more shape to the uh, that side of the artwork. So I went to add in a flower on the cactus because I've seen that before and I think that's a thing that happens. <laughs> After that I decided to add a little bit more uh, sort of greenery in front of the cactus mainly because you could see the uh, sort of brown of the dirt underneath because this is a transparent medium and I really wanted to sort of cover that up because I was kind of silly and didn't think about that um, but that's okay because I haven't used watercolor paints in quite a while and this is me just sort of testing it out so you know what it's fine. I just wanted to add a few more shadows onto the plants and add a few more layers of colour. And then after that I actually used a bit of white gouache to add some spots and stripes to these uh, items. And that was just to give it a little bit more detail and try and make it look a bit more cute. And you know what, I'm actually not unhappy with the results of this. Now I know this is a bit of a simple artwork. But as I said before, when you're trying to get back into a new medium, it's probably best to sort of do a little bit of a study, if that makes sense. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be back for another exciting video next week. I'm really excited about my plans. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys. I can't tell you yet because it's a secret. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Here's the final results and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.